Welcome back to Metal Magic. Today, let's talk about what to do about bad rivets. Hi, I'm Paul Dye, and today I want to talk to you about what we do with bad rivets. Bad rivets happen. We, we, we mess up a shank, we, we uh, plaster the, the, the head of a, of a universal rivet, something we discover we've got to take a rivet out in order to get access to something else. For many, many reasons we have to remove rivets. And fundamentally, it's a skill that you're going to have to develop from the very start of your airplane building. So let's talk about how we do that. There are basically two kinds of rivets we're going to work with. We're going to have flush heads and we're going to have round heads. Um, the, the basic concept is to drill through the factory head with a drill that's one size smaller than the diameter of the hole. So if it's a number 40 hole, we want to use a number 41. If it's a, a number 30 hole, we want to use a 31. Because what we want to do is try to not enlarge the hole at all. That also means you have to go right dead through the center of the rivet. So in order to make sure that we get a good start at that, you're going to have to steer the drill a bit, but to get a good start, you want to just put a little bit of, of a center punch. And fortunately, the kind of rivets we use in aviation start out with a little dimple there. So if you're really, really good, you don't have to add any more dimple, but it's a really good, smart idea to, to take your center punch, your automatic center point punch, and, and, and deepen up that dimple a little bit to, to help you get started right dead smack in the center. So we'll do a few of these. And uh, we're going to start with the, uh, the, the flush rivets because they're actually a little easier to do because they're not trying to tip your drill bit right off the top. So I've got a number 41 chucked up in this drill. We're going to center it up nice in our little punch and then we're going to be, don't be afraid to steer it. You want to start off as vertical as you can get, as absolutely perpendicular to the surface and then just give a couple little bursts to make sure that you're actually getting in the center of it. Adjust if you need to. Don't be afraid to steer it as required to get it go right through the center of that rivet. And there the head came right dead smack off and when the drill went through that was actually pushing the tail of the rivet out. So we still have a nice round hole, appropriate size to put a new rivet in. We'll do one more. There the head's off already. And we could just pop that tail out with the center punch. And we haven't damaged the hole at all. Now, that's flush rivets. Round heads are a little more difficult because when you put that drill on the top, it's going to want to fall off to the side. So you have to be more precise with your steering. Now, we're going to be using the bigger rivet, or big, bigger drill. This is a, a 31. We're going to center punch right on that little dimple that, that they've already given us. And I'm working at it pretty forcefully to make sure that we've got a good starting point. Make sure it's centered up and then a couple of little bursts to get started. Notice I'm doing quite a bit of steering on that drill and I've got it pretty well centered. There the head is off and we can punch the shank and the tail out with our center punch. Might have to use a little bit more drill. Get it all the way through. Okay? Do one more. And out it comes. So, that's the trick. You just have to practice it and practice it and practice it. I tell new builders, go in, 
get some scrap material from your kit. Most kits come with, with practice material and put in about a hundred rivets. That's your practice for putting in those rivets. Then drill them out, all of them, a good hundred rivets. Learn from your mistakes, play with it, realize that it's not part of your airplane, it's just a practice thing, and keep doing it until you can consistently drill the rivets out without damaging or upsizing the holes. Thanks again to Aircraft Spruce for sponsoring this series and thanks for watching.